Welcome everyone, my name is Zan Ta from Repro Products. Here is another screencast video. This one will actually showcase Revit and materials and how to work with the materials within the software. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zan Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017. I have three walls that I've created. One, I've just taken the basic wall generic 8 inches and just renamed it material by category. I have it duplicated and renamed as material specified. And then I have it duplicated again and changed as material via split face. When we talk about materials in Revit, we can go to the manage tab of the ribbon, materials command, and open the material dialog box to work with it. The general interface and how it functions is as follows. The upper left hand quadrant lists all the materials that are in your current Revit project. The lower left quadrant lists all the Revit um, and Autodesk materials that come shipped with the software and they are locked by default. You can look and search for any material that you want. You can use a search condition here, type in what you need. If there is a material in the library that you don't have in your current project uh, upper left hand corner window, you can just double click the particular material you want for example here steel and it will actually um, load a copy into your current project. The right hand side describes all the BIM data if you will of the actual material. So another way to kind of look at this is if I look at common brick here. This is think of this as a bucket and on the right hand side is all the BIM data that is contained in that bucket that describes this material called common brick. Identity is basic information you can input for BIM purposes. For graphics tab describes what the actual 3D Revit model will look like graphically within the software on your laptop or desktop. The appearance tab describes the bitmap image or the PNG or different type of image that is physically applied to the model so that when you switch to a uh, realistic visual style, you'll see that. By the way, the graphics tab, if you switch to shaded, then you'll start to see this information as well. Physical describes all the structural content about that particular material for the purposes of structural analysis and understanding. Thermal tab is to describe the thermal aspects of the software to look at things like uh, thermal uh, mass and uh, thermal transfer of the materials. So that's a general quick description of material dialog browser uh, box. Now back over here in this particular uh, project looking at the first wall, I have it called generic 8 inch material by category. And the reason we're looking at it this way is if I drill into the structure of it, you'll see that core structure is just set up as by category. What this means is that the Revit software is actually looking at under manage, under object styles, down here where it says walls, this category here. So if I go in here and I switch this to something else, say something silly like wood flooring and I hit OK. Hit apply, hit OK and I go back to this wall. You're going to notice that under the structure under by category it's going to default to wood flooring. So that's what the by category represents. Let's go ahead and switch that back to default wall because that's typically what we do and this is alphabetical by the way so just look for your default wall. Now the second one, I have it duplicated and changed the name, but some, slightly different. Within here, under the materials, it doesn't say by category. I've actually clicked inside and forced it to be a particular material. For example, acoustical ceiling tile 24 by 24. And the reason I do this is to directly manipulate it and tell it you are this particular material, and therefore you're using in the graphics tab this graphical appearance of the line work and this actual bitmap image for a JPEG image for the actual tile. And so if you click OK and you accept that, you're going to see the line work in the 3D model view, uh, in hidden line, in shaded, even though it's shaded, you can still see it. And if you switch to realistic, it's going to put that image of that tile, ceiling tile, on that physical wall. And then the third wall that I've created, if you look at it, um, all I've done is I've left everything as the default as by category. But what we use now is under the modify tab of the ribbon, there is under geometry a split face command. 
and I've used this to actually split the face of the wall, for example, like this. And so now it has two separate surfaces. And with that, I can use the paint command to quote unquote paint a material that doesn't have any thickness onto that face that has been split. So for example, I'll pick parking stripe and I'll select that. I'll hit OK. And if I switch this to shaded, you'll get a better idea of what happened. And so that's a, another way to work with materials within Revit. Doing it the third method, again, does not apply physical thickness. Uh, and then the other two are those separate methods. So this is a quick tutorial on working with materials in Revit. Thank you very much for watching.